Alright, what's good YouTube? I'm Visual and welcome or welcome back to my channel. First things first, what I want to say is thank y'all so much. If y'all don't know, I've recently hit 3,000 subscribers. I think right now I'm sitting at about 3,300. When I tell you literally earlier, like two, literally like two, what the f***? Literally like two months ago, I was sitting at like 200, 300 subscribers. Now I'm up 3,000, like that's insane. So if you're sub to the channel, if you're here from any of the shorts or any of my you know, gameplay videos, wherever you're here from, I do appreciate it. TikTok, if y'all here from too, hey, follow that too. If y'all here from that, I do appreciate it. So today I got one goal simply. I just wanna see what the COD community feels about Call of Duty because everything's so fickle, it's fake. And I wanna know how people really feel. So as you can see, I have the community post up. So I posted today, it was like four hours ago. I was like, Call of Duty hot takes. Post your COD hot takes below and I'll make a video on if it's valid or not. And I wanted to do this because I post shorts pretty much daily, if not daily, maybe four or five times a week, right? And all of them have the most faded comments that I've ever read in my life. And mine, I feel like, so mine are hot takes for sure, right? I don't feel like they're far off from being true though. If you really, like if you really break it down. Honestly, this video really isn't about my hot takes. I wanna read what y'all have to say. Hey, if you if you see your name in the comments, just let me just let me know now if I if I if I you know if I'm using your stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just say what's up. Alright. So this thing had 10,000 votes. 144 comments. Not bad. Let's see. What are we talking? So I did go back right before I started recording. Before I hit record. I replied to some of the ones that I wanted to do in this video. But there's been a lot since. So I might end up I might end up going back on that. Alright, so we got my boy Derpy. Hot take. Modern Warfare 3 is my favorite COD of all time. Survival was interesting, multiplayer was good, and the campaign was also really good. Now, he said that's his favorite COD of all time, so I wouldn't even consider that a hot take, but I do think Modern Warfare 3 is very overrated. You know what I'm saying? You what? Like, the game is a clone of MW2, and it was just dull. It was like a duller version of MW2. It was like a scaled down, less, overkill version of Modern Warfare 2. Keenan, Keenan, what's that name? Bartolome? Says IW Rock, didn't play the multiplayer too much, but the single player is awesome. Incredibly fun and new type of COD. Felt like The Expanse. What does that mean? Respectfully, you didn't play the multiplayer. You did not play Call of Duty. You mean to tell me you only play campaign? What is this, 2009? Like didn't play the multiplayer but the single player is awesome if you i mean I, I the campaign was cool the campaign was cool it wasn't a new type of cod because there was it was the last jetpack game and i feel like everything that iw tried to do black ops 3 did better oh see yeah my boy jack sabbath agreed with me he was like i agree with all of these don't get me wrong i love mw2 but if the game that unbalanced dropped today activision would be nerfing shit into the ground within a few months i feel like if modern warfare 2 dropped as it did, it would be the worst Call of Duty of all time. And if they nerfed the game into the ground, it'd be Modern Warfare 3. Terrible. I will say, after reading some of these comments, like it's just interesting to see all these people's opinions. Look, ain't nobody wrong. If it's your actual opinion, if, if you're not saying, like, this game is trash, that's not an opinion, bro. That's just stupid, respectfully. But if you're actually giving insight behind your opinion, I don't care if you think ooh, Vanguard is the best Call of Duty of all time. If you explain why it is, then I mean, that's your opinion. But if you're just saying Warzone's trash. Malfunction, Warzone didn't save COD. If anything, it killed, oh, so off the bat, he disagrees with me, golly. Every game after Warzone was made purely to supply Warzone with new content. And the actual multiplayer and zombies of the other games were left in the dust with terrible reused content. Also, advanced movement cards were good and people give them too much shit. I agree with that last, that very last sentence. I definitely agree with that. But what you just said is the reason why I think Warzone saved COD because it gave them another direction to pump content. Now, it might not have saved your COD, but if you're, let me just say pause. I'm saying COD, relax. Warzone didn't save your Call of Duty, but in the grand scheme of the game, like I think the player base jumped during quarantine like to some stupid numbers so you can't you I, I don't know saying warzone didn't 
for saying Warzone killed COD, is, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But like I said, that's your opinion. You think because it was too much, you reused content? I ain't mad at that. There was a lot of content dumps, and I feel like they could have been better. Which is the one thing that World War II did do really good. Like I said, like they pumped content in the game. It just wasn't a fun game. If they can find that balance, it'd be so much better. Warzone did not save Call of Duty because first of all, Warzone made Modern Warfare in 2019 die ever since Warzone came out. Bro, what? <laughs> what? World War II top? Absolutely not. What else we got? Blackout was better than Warzone. I like this one. Yo, anybody that thinks Blackout is better than Warzone, they probably like the super cracked out play that is Warzone. Because I feel like Blackout was the same as far as the movement and traversing the map. The map was smaller. So yeah, they were probably like, people who love Blackout are probably movement demons on Rebirth, for sure, for sure. I don't know, they feel like two completely, like two completely different games. It's like saying, is Warzone or Apex better? Like you can say which one's more popular, or which one you like playing more, but there's two completely different BRs, you know what I'm saying? So I can't necessarily say Blackout is better than Warzone, in my opinion. But I think Blackout was, I feel like if they put as much effort in the back, if they were allowed to put as much effort in the Blackout as they could with Warzone, that game could have been something different. And that game had Rebirth too, technically. It had like the OG um, Mob of the Dead version of Rebirth. But boy, boy, my boy John Eldon said all of these are wrong. <laughs> dang, bro, dang. Ooh, I didn't read this one, Donnie. I didn't read this one. I didn't read this one. Warzone saved Kai, but Vanguard's interpretation ruined it. That is a fact. That is a fact. I feel like, I feel like Activision forced them to move away from Modern Warfare 2019's world to the whole Vanguard, you know, World War II setting. That was the worst decision they could have made because Verdance changed, which made it worse because it was none of the POIs were the same and it just made gameplay slower. They had like this weird reddish orange filter over the, like, I don't know. They should have just kept everything the same. Vanguard is the worst Call of Duty of all time, by far. Yo, if y'all haven't seen this video, I got a link in the comments right now. Look, look where I ranked it. Absolute boo-boo juice, bro. Vanguard is the worst Call of Duty of all time. And like I said, I feel like Activision, if we're, if we're really breaking it down, Ah, uh, do I want to say that maybe somebody this, you know, maybe somebody from Activision sees this and I completely ruined my whole entire future with this Call of Duty YouTube stuff. So I'm going to just be quiet. I didn't like Vanguard, though. So I agree with you. That's a good hot take, though. Is it a hot take? There was a lot of people who like Caldera, though. How can you like that map? These are some lukewarm ass takes. OK, like. Yo, yo, bro, shut up. Oh, another hot take, and then I'm gonna end the video. Another hot take is supply jobs need to come back to Call of Duty. I don't, I don't know if it's maybe because I'm, you know, got a job now, or because I'm older, or because I love gambling. But I need supply jobs back. I need, I need those back. The feeling of opening like a rare or an epic was different. But like I said, that's kind of like a gambler's mindset. So maybe, you know, maybe I'm just an addict. And, but no, they, they should bring it back in some way uh, or make it like an option. Because at the end of the day, if you choose to buy supply drops, that's your choice where you're spending your money. If your kid is buying it, you need to get your child because, you know, this has nothing to do with Timmy. He shouldn't even be playing the game. Black Ops 2 is the last true good COD and COD will never die. <laughs> Boy, JT got hope. How does that make any sense that COD will never die if Black Ops 2 is... Mm, I, I, I guess I see what he's saying. It's the only Call of Duty that's balanced top to bottom in the most fun way possible. Like, it'll probably never be, you. I don't think you could repeat that. There's there's just no way. Kai will never die though. I mean, Kai's not going nowhere. It hasn't yet, so. Kai's definitely not going nowhere. But I think that's gonna conclude this video. This is pretty cool to do, and I might do this more often. You know, take some of these community posts, make a video out of reacting to it, 
let's let's engage it gets us engaging right now if you've seen your name let me know down in the comments and if you're new make sure you hit that like hit the sub button hit the alert bell so you don't miss when i post i post shorts like i said a few times a week five times a week something like that and i'm gonna try to get some more normal videos up on the channel but i appreciate y'all for watching peace out mm -hmm.